So next session is uh, for Paulo Alto. Uh, so please uh, stay back. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I, my name is uh, Kwang Bin. I'm a, a consulting engineer uh, from uh, Paulo Alto Networks. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to talk about today is basically you know how you extend our security uh, operating platform right uh, to the cloud uh, in AWS. Okay. So, um, one of the things uh, that uh, has come into our lives in, in, in recent years is technology, right? So, uh, for example, uh, uh, everyone owns a handphone, right? Who can uh, do without a handphone for a day? So, uh, uh, and, and everything has become digital, okay? And what Palo Alto uh, Networks uh, is doing today uh, is basically, you know, uh, helping us to preserve uh, this digital way of life, right? But, uh, there is some problem, okay, with uh, what security uh, uh, have today, right? Uh, how people are deploying security, how uh, security uh, uh, is being uh, architected, right? So how do we know there's a problem, right? Just look at how many breaches are there. Uh, uh, there's record number of breaches in 2017, right? Uh, huge numbers, right? And if you look, look at monetary value, right, it's like more than 100 billion, right? It's actually very, very... Uh, uh, um, a large number, right? So, w what a lot of companies are doing is basically, you know, trying to patch up, doing patchworks. So, what they will do is they just throw money, right? Buy more more security devices, security tools, okay? Put in more people and try to fix the problem. But then, um, how many logs can you re read in one day, right? Throwing people uh, to to the problem is is not really a solution today, right? So. Uh, essentially, what you need to do is transform the way you actually deploy security. Okay, so um, what what you need is basically you know uh, uh, looking at security at a different way. Right, there are many new technologies that are available today uh, uh, in the form of uh, 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 analytics, machine learning, you know, uh, automation tools, right, and uh, uh, services that are being provided by the cloud. Right, so we should look at those technologies, use those technologies, okay, in order to actually uh, uh, transform how we actually do uh, uh, a security deployment, okay. So that's where uh, uh, the Palo Networks uh, platform comes into the picture. So how we do is um, we, we basically, okay, is, is able to uh, prevent, uh, is able to do threat uh, identification and prevention uh, 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 easily, okay. Uh, how we do it is basically by using uh, uh, analytics, uh, e some some analytics uh, on uh, uh, events, okay, on uh, data that we collect okay, from all, all all the endpoints that we have, right? And by using uh, machine machine learning capability, you know, to basically identify, okay, new threats, right? And we can actually let. Uh, 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 with 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 these tools right now, we will be able to actually uh, uh, help to uh, prevent uh, uh, attacks that are coming uh, out, uh, new attacks that are actually coming out, right? And what you really want is basically, you know, to allow the customers themselves uh, to focus on doing things uh, that are useful to them, right? You don't want them to basically look at logs all the time, right? Trying to figure out what's, what's the problem. What you want is basically to have an automated process where their security control, security policies, okay, will dy dynamically change, okay, according to uh, 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 the requirements uh, of the applications and the workloads uh, that they are actually pushing to the cloud, right? So, uh, and and another thing is uh, 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 to make it easier, okay, for the customers to consume uh, uh, security and to ensure that they are able to. Uh, enjoy okay the uh, uh, the benefits okay of uh, uh, new innovations. Uh, security need to be uh, basically you know um, <coughs> provided from the cloud. Okay, one of the example is that you know if if uh, you have a new threat okay that has been identified, right? Like a new malware, uh, and what you do is uh, you already know there's a new malware. So what you what what you really want is to be able to spread this information to everywhere, so that you know. Uh, all, all the users who are actually using the security uh, 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 platform, right, uh, is able to get the information and start protecting themselves against that particular new malware, right. So, uh, the consumption, okay, of the security from the cloud will becoming will be becoming more and more critical uh, as the day goes, goes by. So, um, uh, the 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 um, 
a, a lot of enterprises are starting to move their workloads to the cloud, right? Uh, but a lot of them are not really uh, putting uh, a, a security uh, a architectural design in the cloud uh, as part of their uh, 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 as as one of their uh, key priorities, right? So, but the problem is that uh, if they are if if they have uh, uh, if they have their own uh, security built up okay, on on-prem premises on the data centers, okay, uh, they should have the same kind of protection, okay, if they move their workloads to the cloud, right? You 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 really want to also do provide the same kind of protection when the workloads are moved to the cloud. So uh, uh, if we look at you know, what are the uh, areas you know, in the cloud where we need the protection. Uh, basically, you know, you, you you need to protect traffic that is coming into the VPC, right, and also traffic that is going within the PVC, uh, VPC, or traffic that is between VPCs, right. And you also need to take care of uh, this is basically on, on a data plane, right? You no, know, you actually identify is there any uh, attacks coming in? Is there any uh, malware being passed through? Right? Is there any threats? Uh, but uh, you really also want to make sure that the configurations, okay. Uh, uh, sound, for example, you no, know, you you could you, have, you could have created uh, a, a security group, okay, that uh, allows uh, 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 zero slash zero, basically everyone to access, right? So you do want you do not want to have all these configuration errors to come and haunt you, because you accidentally open up hole somewhere for people to come in, right? And so uh, you you also need to have a production where we use APIs, right, to actually pull information from AWS so that we can actually go through the configurations and ensure the configurations are sound. And then if the configurations are not sound, right, flag it out as a risk, right? And then so that you know, the, the, the users themselves can actually take a look at the risks and decide how to uh, mitigate the risk, right? And on the server itself, right, you, know, you also need some kind of protection because if the server is compromised, right, you want to have the protection directly on the server. So that's where uh, the three areas of the production in the cloud comes into the picture. Right? If you look at the first one, uh, inline security, uh, basically, you know, it's used to protect um, uh, 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 the, the workloads, right, uh, from internet facing okay, out of the VPC, right. But if you are going to uh, imp uh, if you are going to actually implement right multi-tier architecture, like for example, a web tier, an application tier, or maybe even a database tier. Right, then you might also want to do the protection right, between the tiers. Right, so that's where uh, 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 the Palo Alto VM series come into the picture. We are basically uh, uh, integrated okay, with, uh, 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 with the AWS system. We make use of uh, their native uh, 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 services okay, and uh, tools okay, in order to provide uh, 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 a working solution okay, uh, for the customer in terms, uh, in terms of security. Okay. So, um, outbound and inbound attack, okay, uh, application visibility, uh, why we need application uh, visibility, all right, reason is because uh, if you are going to allow only, uh, say, port 80, right, and I'm not going to check what is going through port 80, then network security group is enough, right, you just open up port 80 and then there's allow, but then the problem is that People can use port 80 for anything, right? It can be used for command control traffic. It can be used for some other uh, applications that is not web. And so what you really want is to have the capability to look into the layer 7 and understand what exactly what kind of applications is going through it. And so this VM series basically uh, provide that capabilities, right? So the... And 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 you, you you really need you really want to be able to deploy okay uh, 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 this this firewall uh, the policies on the firewall from a central manner, right? And then uh, be, uh, uh, and also via uh, APIs, right? So that you do not need to have to manually do the configuration, right? And 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 therefore you know, uh, uh, being being uh, uh, able to you know, uh, use APIs to actually do the configuration of the firewall uh, uh, is, is kind of important and which is supported uh, by the VM series. Right. And, and the, the how, how it's done is that you know, we, we actually provide you know, a couple, many different tools okay, uh, to actually allow this automated uh, 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 deployment okay, of the VM series uh, within uh, 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 AWS itself. Okay, 
how it's done okay we need to bootstrap so that it comes up we can give it a temp uh, a, a working uh, configuration right and optionally you know, register to our management system called the panorama so that we can actually uh, manage it from there as well right and then uh, uh, we can actually also do things like you know um, uh, using tags okay to identify new workloads that are spin up so that we can actually dynamically add uh, the IP addresses okay to be protected by the firewall right all these are being uh, uh, done on, it can be done automatically okay through uh, uh, interworking with uh, uh, Amazon services or AWS services okay so these are uh, some of the tools you know, that we can actually use right uh, uh, to 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 automate this uh, uh, this process right obviously uh, the native uh, um, uh, AWS tools are available uh, 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 to be used uh, but we also support uh, third party tools right, such as sensible and, and terraform uh, so that you know, we can actually support uh, multi cloud uh, deployment uh, 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 scenarios okay so um, there are many ways we can actually deploy uh, the VM series okay uh, within uh, within AWS right so very, the most simplest way is is basically you have a file just just one firewall okay uh, in front of a load balancer right and uh, 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 and the load balancer is fronting a bunch of workloads right so but then uh, you, you you really do not have any kind of uh, uh, HA so uh, what typically is done is that you know you'll see is that uh, we're going to have uh, uh, firewalls two firewalls uh, and deploy in uh, two different uh, 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 AZs right and then uh, uh, this firewalls are sandwiched between two sets of uh, load balancers one for the public and one for the internal right and then you have the workloads behind the internal and then uh, the firewalls are actually behind the public load balancers okay and we are also uh, 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 integrated with uh, 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 AWS uh, auto scaling group such that you know, uh, if we actually uh, detect that there's a load that too high of a load and it hit the trigger point okay basically through CloudWatch uh, what we'll do is that you know, we can actually trigger off a, a workflow to actually spin up additional firewalls right so that we can actually spread the load uh, across the more more firewalls, so they know you have a better performance, right? So that is actually uh, uh, basically uh, integrated with uh, 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 AWS uh, uh, auto scaling group today, right? So and, and we do have customers who are using it, right? And uh, uh, we we also see uh, uh, a lot of cases where uh, customers have um, uh, uh, large customers where they have uh, many many different uh, 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 VPCs, right? So uh, and and typically, you know, uh, uh, the VPCs are such that um, they are either belonging to a different department, or it could be uh, belonging to a different uh, 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 developer. For example, right? You know, every developer have their own VPC, uh, and uh, in order not to, in order to be able to to uh, uh, secure them, okay, one of the way uh, which is good for us is that they deploy firewalls in every VPC, right? But that is not. Uh, the most cost-effective way, because uh, uh, they do really do not want to protect uh, uh, every VPC, uh, put a firewall inside every VPC. So what can be done is basically you can have what we call a services VPC, where you know your firewall services are there, and all the traffic that travels you know from VPC to out or v between VPCs need to go through this central services VPC, right? And and that's where uh, the protection comes. So we we do have the integration such that you know. Uh, uh, the VPCs can be uh, automatically spun up, right? Connected to the services VPC, and uh, the IPsec tunnels are uh, being created automatically, so that uh, you do not have to do any manual work, okay? In order to have a new VPC join the system, okay? So we we have um, uh, a lot of customers who are doing uh, uh, using Palo Alto Networks uh, uh, VM series. Uh, in, in various forms, right? So uh, we have a, uh, a technology partner, right? So they they are basically doing uh, a, a lot of development work. So what they want is that uh, they want to have the capability to give the developers uh, 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 the capability to launch a new VPC so that they can do their development for a new project, or to give new developers a capability to do, launch a VPC to start their project, right? And uh, uh, what we do is that uh, we actually you know uh, work with them. Uh, 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 we, we we essentially enable them such that uh, they can uh, through a push of a button, okay, deploy a new VPC, okay, 
And then this new VPC is basically protected by uh, uh, by the set of firewalls that is in the central VPC, and then automatically being connected okay to that uh, central services VPC. Okay, so so that's that's basically one one of the how one of the customers uh, are basically uh, uh, using okay our uh, our solution okay in their in their uh, uh, in AWS okay. We have another customer, okay, uh, uh, a financial customer who has been using uh, Palo Alto Networks uh, 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 firewalls uh, for, I mean, since uh, since like 2009, right? And a couple of years back, you know, they started to move workloads to the um, to AWS. And again, you no, know, uh, they have a lot of VPCs, so they are distributed all around. And 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 what they did was, you know, they they use the same architecture. Uh, 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 service, services VPC architecture uh, basically to protect all the workloads in the different uh, uh, in, in the hundred over uh, uh, VPCs that they have. Okay, so um, this is inline security, right? The second part we we'll talk about is uh, the configuration part, right? So where you no, know, if you are if you are looking at uh, 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 AWS deployment after you deployed, right? So uh, you have certain configurations that you are put there. So let's say, for example, you, know, you created IAM users. You no, know, uh, is an, is multi-factor authentication enabled, right? Uh, are your keys being rotated enough, right? Uh, did you actually uh, put some of your uh, 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 some of your objects in your S3 bucket? You no, know, listed as public. You know when you should not be doing that. So a lot of all these uh, uh, different um, uh, configuration uh, uh, each challenges, right? You no, know, may crop up, right? So what we do is that we we will actually use APIs, right? Pull information from AWS, and then compare those against best practices, right? And then if you are not if you are not uh, doing things according to best practices, uh, it will be flagged out as a risk. And then what we do is that we will tell you what are the potential steps that you can actually mitigate the risk, right? And and that is basically uh, 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 what uh, 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 what. This the uh, uh, what we can do. So this is a snapshot of one of what you are going to see. Essentially, you know, uh, uh, after uh, the after uh, uh, we we pull the information and we do uh, the checks, you know, he's going to tell you, you know, uh, in in this re in region number one, okay, how how much risk you have. In region number two, how much risk you have. You know, in region number three, so it breaks down by region, and it also breaks down by uh, different services like EC2 service, EC2 VPC, you know, IAM services, right? And with this information, right? You know, actually, what you can do is also to uh, 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 use the information okay, to check against uh, compliance frameworks. So we do support a bunch of compliance frameworks, you know, NIST, HIPAA, and all those stuff. So what, what this system will do is that you know, it can actually uh, 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 use the framework, apply to what, what you already have, and tell you how compliant you are against those frameworks. Right? And if you are not using any of the standard frameworks, you want to create your own custom security framework because you have uh, your own uh, security policies, you can actually create your own custom framework, and then you can actually do the comparison. Right, to say how compliant you are okay against that framework and finally you know you you, you basically need to protect the host so uh, what we what we provide is essentially a very lightweight agent okay that will actually do real-time protection okay on the host itself okay so today we support uh, Windows Linux uh, uh, hosts okay that uh, uh, so you can actually do the protection on the host right so in summary uh, basically you know what we are saying is that you, know, you, you need to change okay, the way uh, that you approach security. Right? Um, you need to be able to leverage uh, 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 analytics so that you can actually push information from the cloud, newly learned information from the cloud okay, to all the endpoints all over the world so that they get updated uh, security uh, 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 checking uh, policies. Right? And, and, and also, uh, you need to basically you know, have a consistent security posture from your on-prem DC into the cloud, so it, they should be the same. It should not be different, right? Because uh, uh, your workload, whether it's in the DC or is in the cloud, is equally important. So you need to make sure that you you have the same security posture uh, across DC and cloud. Okay. So um, that's the end of my presentation. I uh, thank you very much. My team.